Hello everyone, my name is uh, Andriana Bankova and uh, I'm currently working as a postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory of Judy Shitsuru in the Division of Blood and Marrow Transplantation at Stanford. Our work um, is focused on developing uh, non-toxic and rapidly uh, translatable conditioning approaches prior hematopoietic cell transplantation by using a novel and emerging conditioning strategy with monoclonal antibody targeting uh, CD117 or CKIT um, on the surface of hematopoietic stem cells. Such strategy might be able to replace standard of care alkylator and radiation therapy used uh, currently to deplete recipient hematopoietic stem cells and permit donor hematopoietic engraftment. In preclinical and clinical studies, um, anti-CD117 monoclonal antibodies uh, have shown single-agent single agent, uh, efficacy in permitting uh, hematopoietic stem cell engraftment in immunocompromised recipients. Based on this favorable data, uh, this strategy has been already translated to children with severe combined immunodeficiency, and the data of this trial look very promising. Uh, our goal is to extend um, CD117 based conditioning approach to immunocompetent states uh, from monogenic disorders to malignant hematological diseases. To do so, um, we decided to find um, synergistic partners for CD117 monoclonal antibodies, which uh, can potentiate um, the depletive efficacy of the antibody. Uh, which can lead to uh, engraftment of donor hematopoietic stem cells. Our group has recently determined that the widely used hypomethylating agent uh, 5-phase cytidine uh, can deplete hematopoietic stem cells. We have tested the combination of the mouse uh, CD117 monoclonal antibody designated ACK2 with um, 5 azacitidine, and our data showed um, that these both agents synergistically deplete hematopoietic stem cells. We use this treatment approach um, in a allogenic uh, mouse model in which we basically um, have a, a recipient that we were able to treat with uh, antibody conditioning combined with 5 azacitidine and we transplanted purified hematopoietic stem cells uh, and assess the uh, levels of donor engraftment over time. We now have long-term data on engraftment in these animals and we were able to show that with this conditioning approach in the allogenic setting, we were able to achieve 30 to 40 percent stable uh, donor hymerism. Based on this information, we next decided to test uh, this promising novel conditioning approach in a mouse model of sickle cell disease, which is um, monogenic immunocompetent bone marrow state. And we already know that in sickle cell disease, uh, mixed donor hymerism and levels of myoid hymerism uh, above 20% are actually sufficient to reverse the clinical phenotype. In our data, uh, we were actually able to see what we um, already know from clinical data that um, sickle cell disease um, comes with several challenges. And one of the challenge is the higher rates of graft rejection and uh, graft loss over time. Based on this, we needed to uh, adapt our conditioning approach and we implemented low dose azacitidine before the conditioning. As we know that azacitidine can be used to increase level of hemoglobin F in sickle cell disease, um, which, has a, which is favorable for the clinical phenotype before hematopoietic cell transplantation. But what we also observed is that low dose azacitidine um, also reduces uh, the splenomegaly in these animals. We also believe that the splenomegaly might be one reason why we see um, such high levels of engraftment resistance basically by uh, donor graft pooling in the spleen. In summary, with uh, our conditioning approach, uh, we again were able to show successful engraftment of uh, purified hematopoietic stem cells. Of note, purified hematopoietic stem cells are basically uh, depleted from our reactive T cells. Uh, and this is a one possible strategy to avoid GVHD in uh, recipients of uh, allogenic uh, stem cell transplantation. 